Jesus calls Philip and Nathaniel to follow him. Jesus told not only stories and taught people about what God's kingdom is like, but he wanted others to be able to pass the message on. So Jesus chose men and women to help him. Those who followed Jesus were called disciples. What's that, Francis John? You've got something really exciting to tell me. Ooh, what's that? Your friend Wexton has just called to tell you that he's got two tickets to a special honey tasting day and he wants you to come and share it with him. Oh, isn't that nice? Just the thing that I know you will enjoy. Well, our story today is all about how when Jesus called Philip to follow him, he was so excited that he wanted his friend Nathaniel to be able to follow Jesus too. Are you ready for our story? Jesus calls Philip and Nathaniel to follow him. Jesus decided to go to Galilee. He found Philip and said to him, come and follow me. Philip was from Bethesda, which was also Andrew and Peter's hometown. Philip found Nathaniel also called Bartholomew, and told him, we have found the man that Moses wrote about in the law. The prophets wrote about him too. He is Jesus, the son of Joseph. He is from Nazareth. But Nathanael said to Philip, Nazareth? Can anything good come from Nazareth? Philip answered, come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said, this man coming is a true Israelite, one you can trust. Nathaniel asked him, how do you know me? Jesus answered, I saw you when you were under the fig tree before Philip told you about me. And Nathaniel said, teacher, you are the son of God. You are the king of Israel. Jesus said to him, do you believe this just because I saw you under the fig tree? You will see much greater things than that. We heard in our story how Jesus called Philip and Philip wanted to share this so much that he went and found Nathaniel. Both Philip and Nathaniel became Jesus's disciples. Jesus told Nathaniel that he would see great things if he followed him. I wonder what Nathaniel thought when he looked back on his life following Jesus, remembering how Jesus made a blind man see and a paralysed man walk, how he made little girl come back to life and made people feel that they were loved and wanted. And most amazing of all, how when he died, Jesus came back to life. And Philip and Nathaniel were asked with the others to pass on the message of God's kingdom. I wonder. Is there something that's happened to you that was so exciting that you wanted to share it as soon as you could with someone? You may like to close your eyes and think about that now. I'm going to say a prayer and if you'd like to make it your prayer too, please say amen at the end after me. Dear God, you called Philip and Nathaniel to follow you and they saw amazing things to tell others. Please help me to learn about you so I can share the amazing message of your love with others too. Amen. What's that, Francis John? You're going to ask Wexton if he can get some more tickets to the honey tasting day, then he can both share it with even more of your friends as you don't want them to miss out. I'm sure they would love it. Well, thank you for joining us for our story. Jesus calls Philip and Nathaniel to follow him. We look forward to you joining us again soon. Goodbye and God bless.